All right. Let's go. Let's go. What's good, Yield Guild? We are back with another stream. The community's gathered, and it's time for some big time. A lot of fun stuff going on. We've got a lot of you know core big time community members here, and we're gonna go over the game spotlight wrap up. So we've got Dan here, we've got Big Daddy, we've got Chard and Kuya AC, and of course the Marshals moderating in the background. We've got Senfu, Bibs, and Mangdags. So we're gonna dive into all of the fun things big time. Let's go. <laughs> all right, let's go, GM GM guys. How was your day? Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah, definitely appreciate it. Thanks for the intro, uh, Alicia. So yeah, uh, good evening, good morning, guys. So we're about to do a wrap up for our big time. So here we have uh, Big Daddy, Charles, and then Sayo. We'll uh, discuss about the, the tournament that happened yesterday. So it was exciting, fun, and uh, yeah, so fun game. So yeah. Go ahead, Dan. All right. So as you guys know, uh, wait, uh, Big Daddy, want to make the announcement of how we did uh, on the tournament as you do ha went through the effort of casting the whole thing for us. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're just we're just gonna have a, a quick recap as to what happened uh, at the tournament. So we got uh, at the first place. You know, we we got YGG big time. Uh, they got a I think that was a minute and twenty on average, or maybe lower. I'm not I'm I'm not really sure. Uh, but uh, they got the first place, and the second place also uh, also was YGG Guildhouse. So uh, all the YGG teams were. <laughs> Uh, pretty much uh, competing that time, and we've got the third runner up uh, that was the Nest. So, I think the fastest run was done by the YGG Big Time team, uh, headed by C7. Uh, they got, I think, around 43 seconds uh, into uh, into the uh, into the boss room. So, huge shout out to them. Yeah, and I think the time between. Big time, uh, the big time team and the uh, guild house team is just eleven seconds apart, which is what like one 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 enemy bug, <laughs> uh, one enemy bug difference. So yeah, they were they were really they were they were going hard, and um, it was uh, really great to see uh, all those other teams come in and uh, join in on the fun. Uh, Chard, how was your experience with um, with the tournament? Uh, yeah, the tournament is really um, cool. I've seen a lot of um, cool lineups and a lot of um, team efforts are really um, been there, especially in the when they're on the boss room, planning out who's going to open up the chest and who's going to clear this, this side and that side. So it's all about the um, team effort and uh, planning. Because um, one mistake will really um, let you fuck up with the time. Yeah, so uh, I apologize for the quality, guys. Um, as you can see on the stream, it's a bit blurry, but uh, I, I do believe that the streamers, the players are streaming in low quality because the game is heavy. The game is heavy and they're trying to uh, push for this past the speed. Um, I think what made the best impression on me was uh, as I was uh, assisting in the moderation, being able to interact with those other teams, getting to know them and uh, in all actuality, the teams weren't, um, I think the primary focus for them is the fun uh, and the experience of being able to play with other guilds. Uh, as you know, the guild function in the game is still under development, so um, the chance for them to compete with other guilds playing the game, um, being able to take part in this kind of format in the game, uh, uh, they were they were just excited and happy to be there to um, to compete uh, with other players and see how well their lineups and uh, characters stack against uh, all the other players. We had players from uh, all over the world actually joining in, um, not just the Philippines. I think of these seven teams, three were from 
or four were from Asia, and the the others were uh, from Brazil and uh, Europe. So it was uh, really eye opening. How about you, AC? Uh, how was your? <laughs> how did you find watching it? Yeah, um, the the game was so intense at uh, some some of the the rounds, but uh, we found out that uh, the team composition for different team is quite uh, interesting, right, Big Daddy, and. Uh, yeah, the time and congrats, shout out to our guys by the way. Uh, congrats uh, to YG Big Time and uh, the Guild House for uh, getting to the top spot. And uh, shout out again as well to the our Discord listeners and users. Yeah, so oh yeah, there, think... Nomad is there. Yeah, congrats, <laughs> congrats, brother. Yeah, yeah, the the game was so fun. Uh, it's fun, and uh, we have a lot of participants, and it take the the, the tournament takes quite a while. <laughs> okay, and you, it, it's 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 fun how you can watch those numbers pop out as the times set, and uh, you're saying, okay, um, someone does better than us, our, our ranking is gonna slip. So on the boards yeah. over there, everyone's Agreed. watching. We we want already to say the. the the times uh yesterday but uh we're keeping it and just uh giving up proximity uh time and when we're hosting the the the, the, the stream yesterday and uh by the way h that is hp right on the James, on our, yeah yeah, yeah. HB from shout out to him as well from blue mint did he share any stuff with you about Blumint that uh, we would find interesting? <laughs> I think Big Daddy can answer that. <laughs> he, he talked with uh, HP for quite a while. Yeah, yeah so uh, about Blumint, <clears throat> they're, I think they're still focusing on you know uh, getting other games, uh, having tournament in other games as well. So I think uh, that's the... I think that's uh, the highlight of what uh, HP said uh, yesterday. So uh, they're still, you know, uh, contacting you know other teams, uh, other games, uh, other game developers uh, as to, you know, to collab with them and you know to run some tournaments uh, just like uh, what happened to YGG and Doom. So yeah, they're uh, they're they're you know their team is 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 promising as well. So let's just hope for the best. To them as well. Yeah. Um, no ACL. Have you have you seen any of our previous tournaments before? Were you able to catch up on those? Yeah, I popped in like here and there when I could, and just you know caught some of the stream during uh, you know the work life. But it's definitely intense. I see like Mandags is mentioning that you know the team just ripping through these dungeons with ease. Like it's definitely impressive. Like under one minute. To clear anything like that so yeah the speed run skills are on point um you know i played big time a little bit earlier on like i'd say the last time i played was maybe a month ago but it's nice to see that you know the guild house community is going strong like nomads out here i remember like just over two years ago like these guys were running the mere four guild and you know trying to conquer the regions there and like things have just evolved like we've got a better game like mmos are getting better and big times here killing it so yeah the tournaments are great love to see the community you know achieving success and hoping for more fun times ahead <laughs> right yeah actually yeah. uh just to point out um the tournaments that we've uh partaken in since the beginning of uh, big time have evolved quite a bit so i think the first tournament we did uh it was speed running the whole dungeon and if you thought the boss boss room clear was hard imagine that if you're doing <laughs> the whole dungeon um the second one we did was an eight hour marathon for nft farming so <laughs> the players are trying to get creative with how to how to compete <laughs> with each other in the game um this was our take on how we felt would best showcase uh the skills and um the abilities of the players in order to 
compete with each other, how they compose their teams, how they bring out um, the effectivity of those teams. Uh, and so we hope that um, it was uh, entertaining for everybody. Um, the players had fun. Uh, hopefully it picks up some more and we can do this more regularly later. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. Um, in the meantime, AC, you want to transition into the game? Oh, wait. Uh, to our um, game updates and patches. Yeah, yeah, we can we can talk a bit more about the game um, and see where it's at mm -hmm. right now. Uh, Chard and Big Daddy can fill us in and um, what the latest developments are, um, where the game is going, and uh, what we can look forward to in the next few months. Uh, yeah, sure, we can go ahead. Um, so <laughs> we have Chard and Big Daddy. Uh, we'll discuss the. Uh, Maybe if you want to just, since I've been out of the mix for like a month, maybe let me know some of the major changes that, you know, have occurred since then. Like what is really, you know, a highlight since the last time I played. That would be awesome as well. Just a quick touch on that, if you could. Right, Chard, uh, you, you go first. Yeah, so there's a big patch, or not really big patch, but... Uh, the upcoming patch, which is the point 26, uh, will be focused more on the gameplay. So there will be new class and skills and added the town. Also, there's uh, new combo mechanics. Um, I think it will be um, updated uh, within this month. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward with that, with that new class, which is the Battle Mancer. They call it the Mancer and the Tech Blade. They haven't really, um, they, they haven't really given any much details about it, but uh, most likely it's um, range class, right? Yeah, the first one will be the, the range, and the second yeah. one, the Tech Blade, will be the mix of uh, Necromancer, uh, I think. Necromancer. Yeah. Yeah, so I think. Uh, <clears throat> to add more about those uh, two new classes, uh, as what Charge said, uh, the two classes uh, that are going to be coming up at the 0 0.26 patch is uh, Battlemancer and Textblade. So uh, it's a, a Battlemancer is a combination of Time Warrior and Chronomancer, whereas uh, the Textblade is a combination of uh, Quantum Fixer and a Shadow Blade. So uh, as what I've <clears throat> uh, seen in the... Uh, uh, video of big big time uh, i think you need uh at least a level 35 character in order to unlock uh those uh classes as well so and also there's there's uh new new additional skills for i think for each of the classes as well so that's a really great update to the game and also to add uh they're also gonna add uh two more classes for each patch that's coming up so we're gonna expect more and more classes uh as the game uh goes through so we're excited about that as well definitely definitely have you heard and, the uh, the fog of war Bigali? what the fog of war no i haven't yeah they haven't really given deals that i, I think it 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 will be having a fog like with like like with the dota dota 2 wherein you can we you cannot see the whole map ah okay that's nice so maybe yeah, it's that will be a good in the boss room <laughs> <laughs> so uh probably the uh the older players or you know the the players who grind uh much about that game would would be uh would have an advantage there since they they almost uh like memorize the map already so yeah. that will be a fun a fun event as well yeah. and also uh, as what uh, charge said uh, on a previous uh, streams uh, there's also going to be an event right charge for the crafting so there's going to be a unique one of one uh, nft uh, that's going to be uh, crafted as well so that's where i think uh, the guild system would take place because uh, that would be who would would have or <clears throat> which guild would have uh, the first one to have the unique uh, NFT one of one. 
Yeah. Maybe I wonder when that will be on live. It sounds like a going to be a big event for um especially if we have already the guild system live. Yeah, so we're we're hoping to, you know, uh to participate in these types of events so so that, you know, big time I uh, will be back and grinding big time. <laughs> Oh, I, I remember, guys. Uh, there's an airdrop when you uh, play, play the game for a long time, right? Yeah, so I think they started it on <clears throat> January. Uh, so uh, each month they're uh, doing airdrops uh, for like mystery boxes. Uh, so as you as you play, I think uh, five plus dungeons or something like that. Uh, you can have a chance to uh, to have an airdrop uh, for the mystery box. So that's a. Uh, I think I Chard and I and some of our team members in uh, YGG Big Time already had their drops for uh, this month, uh, for the month of April. So we're just waiting for uh, the month of May as well. All right, there from Gucci. Uh, there will be a minimum of twenty dungeons. For you to get an airdrop so for the people that are watching or uh, playing as well or want to get in uh just recently in big time make sure to do your 20 dungeon uh probably is it per day or a month uh yeah, think, to get the airdrop yeah i think for that's for that month only yeah. Oh, okay nice. yeah. so yeah it's a great addition of uh, a great featured addition for the active players of big time and that will interest uh new players as well to get their own new uh NFTs or and also, oh, yeah so uh, in addition to that uh i think those mystery boxes that are dropping uh are gonna be <clears throat> or excuse me are gonna be dropping i think at the end of quarter four Oh, nice. Sounds good. Yeah, There's I think. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Is YGG going to host a big time tournament or future tournaments? Sir Mordred asked in the Discord. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're working towards having at least a monthly tournament that we're uh, preparing for. So yes. you guys have to be in the YGG Big Time Discord to keep a lookout for those. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of a lot of great feedback from yeah. from this last tournament, so uh, it's going to be interesting. What we can yeah, definitely a one to watch out for, and uh, we might include it in the uh, in the gap uh, quest. So uh, watch out for it, guys. Yeah. Uh, circling back to the question, no ACL gave um, like an update since you haven't uh, played in a while. Um, I think one of the most important things that they've been um, laying the foundation for, as Big Daddy mentioned earlier, is unique NFTs. So the there's gonna there's gonna in the future there's gonna be um, a crafting system that's coming out, and uh, if you go to the marketplace on Open Loot and you check out all of the available NFTs, so you'll see twenty thousand NFTs, thirty thousand of those lower uh, rank NFTs available that the players have farmed but they've been rolling out updates and um like a, a, a ladder system and a, a like a framework for how you're going to be able to get to those um unique nfts and you are going to burn a lot of nfts in order to get that i think that the estimate that they gave us was for one um for one unique NFT, you are going to, in essence, burn 20,000 uncommon NFTs. So it's going to really be a guild effort going forward later on as we as you, as you continue uh, building the game. And um, I don't see I don't see it being uh, being you being able to get that far uh, playing solo. So you know, unless you're playing 24/7, like seven days a week, like that's a grind. It's uh, you know. It's an MMORPG, right? So, mm -hmm. sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So, economy is building. Uh, content is building. Uh, balances are fixing. I do believe that a lot of the emphasis that uh, Big Time is uh, focusing on right now is um, making sure that 
the backbone of the mechanics of the game are solid because uh, in order for them to push towards having it be sports friendly you gotta make that solid and um be the be sort of like a pillar that the game stands on uh, because esports in itself can become uh, its own pillar in the future that the game relies on but in order for that to be um, viable you need that solid mechanics you need that fair play um, we're really happy that uh, big time hasn't introduced any um, pay to win mechanics into the game so it's really going to depend on the skill level of the players the their ability to work together the ability for them to uh, just hone their um, reflexes and anything needed in order to succeed so you can really see that when you watch the tournament you can see the players who are well coordinated who are um, veterans at the game um, as to those who are playing more casually so uh, hopefully we can see more of that as the game progresses nice. yeah sounds good man it's looking good so far <laughs> yeah uh big daddy chart you guys have anything more to add about um where the game is yeah, going they're, they're, they're going to add a new mode called uh, thunder cube if you um they announced it on the on their last town hall it's mm -hmm. going to be uh clearing up waves of monsters mm, okay so, so like a like a power yeah. rush am i correct yeah yeah like, endless dungeon yeah so I think uh, each uh, round's um, mobs are getting um, higher levels. So I know that they are trying to build a leaderboard around that uh, mode. Nice. And new, yeah, new opportunity for a tournament. <laughs> yeah, that would be. I think that would be easier to um, facilitate. Mm. Nice. It went from the fastest time to how long you can survive now. Who can survive the longest amount of time, <laughs> the most waves. It's good. Yeah, and and if you notice, if you noticed with um with the way that they attack dungeons, those monsters have different skills, and different. So they're gonna have to plan accordingly if they want to survive that long. Because if they're if they're switching up monsters and rolling out different um mob mob groups. It's going to be tough to take all of those on you can't there's no uh, one size fits all build that would be able to take that on you got to be versatile and you have to know your stuff yeah. oh they have a trailer for it yeah i shared it on the english uh, voice text can we play it oh. here can we show the trailer here for the thunder it's a thunder cube yeah, I, uh, I showed it on the English uh, voice text. Okay. On I think <clears throat> I think we can show that one as well. Yeah, let's show it here. Uh, right yeah, that'd be great. It's my first time seeing it too in action. Let's go. Big power. That's gonna be, you know, a, a good a good uh, idea for the tournament. 
It has a good it's vibe. One hell of a clip. Yeah. It looks familiar. The atmosphere feels familiar. <laughs> Anyone here ever play Destiny? Like. Mm. Like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That particular <laughs> scene kind of like gives me the uh, the vault, you know, the Vex hive mind in the vault of glass. The vault. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of kind of gives me that vibe there. It looks like a, a the light portal. dispenser. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. Looks intense. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it looks like I'm. It's gonna get messy in there. Um, <laughs> yeah, all right. So, okay, <laughs> McDaddy, anything you want to add up to that? Leading in from uh, the Thunder Cube, anything else? Uh, no, I think I think we've said, uh, I, I almost said it all already on the on the previous stream, so. All right, um, just to, for, uh, to give details, uh, so this patch mostly that we were talking about is 0.26. Uh, right after which 0.27 comes out and 0.27 um, is the major economy patch that's going to roll out um, tokenomics, I, I believe. Uh, so when tokens come into play, that means that all of those utility NFT airdrops that you've been receiving that are available on the market, they're going to be uh, usable on our space, um, the personal space that you've been collecting. And uh, we'll see if that triggers the forging uh, mechanism as well. Um, if I'm right, uh, they, there are several utility NFTs that have several functions as well, right guys? I think Armory is for forging and then... Time Warden. Yeah, yeah time, time Warden is for mm. the coins, yeah. Mm. Nice. Yeah, so... so question. Things to look forward to. Um, yeah, if they introduce the token model soon and, you know, the, the marketplace opens up a bit more. Like, so far, is big time, like, primarily, like, player-driven? Like, the players are the ones directing how, you know, the resources and the items in the game kind of are distributed? Like, or is it set by big time? Like, what do you think? Is it open? Are the players the ones like kind of in control of, you know, all of that fun stuff? Basically, like the market, right? The NFTs in the game, the items in the game. Yeah, because it's it would be great if it's in the players' hands to be able to, yeah. you know, just flow naturally and yeah, see how the game progresses, how the market goes. Yeah. I think yeah. uh, once the forging is activated, uh, that will be the case when uh, different players go do the crafting, especially uh, uh, the guilds with the uh, faces. Uh, they will create the forging house, definitely. And then uh, players can uh, join and come in and then do the forging within, within that space. And that space can be rented as well, right? Uh, guys. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, definitely. Uh, it will be fun, and it will be a community-based uh, forging, crafting items. Different. <laughs> There's just gonna be guild farming. Everyone's gonna be going hard to get all these resources. Craft be, away. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so currently right now, um, all the players have to work with is actually the drop rate set by uh, big time. and But they are in control of the pricing of the NFTs. And it's nice to see that um, prices mostly have held uh, in their market. And still a lot of value going around in there. And as these uh, updates come out, I'm sure that that will also uh, cause a fluctuation in those prices again. Because... Um, like we mentioned before, that you're going to have to sacrifice a lot of those um, uh, lower tier NFTs in order to go up. That's true. That's great, actually. That stability shows that like there's a consistent player base, you know, players are having fun. And yeah, they're the ones that are like, you know, using the market playing with the assets, all that fun stuff, so it's holding the value. It's not like a bunch of investors coming in and yeah, taking away from that. So it's good to see. Big time's 
going slowly, but they're going in the right direction. Agree. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. It will be on the players' uh, decision how they will turn uh, turn the economics of the uh, of the game and how they will create the different enemies that they have. How they will expand uh, the the community or the future of the big time. Not yeah. just uh, the investor keep on investing on different things, but uh, the player itself who is grinding every day, getting the items of uh, different rarities and then recrafting it to uh, a different kind. So yeah, nice. it will be. Fun. So yeah, so we're moving ahead, and uh, do you still guys? Uh, have to discuss anything with the, the update patch are we good i think we're good uh, we can uh, move on to yeah the upcoming stuff we have planned for the community all right go ahead then yeah so uh as you guys know or if you don't know uh big daddy and chart they stream every wednesday on the wide region channel uh please check them out um they do uh mostly gameplay uh experiment play around uh, invite more people into the parties. Um, as you know, big time, it, you need to have a party if you want to progress um, at the speed that the other players are going at. It's going to be a real struggle if you play solo. And we're here for you if you guys want to uh, party up. Uh, we do want to um, encourage uh, players getting together so that they maximize the time spent in the game. Uh, so that there's the Wednesday stream that they're doing. We got each other. You guys want to talk a little bit about what you guys uh, do on there? Oh yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to add uh, some things as to what Sir Dan said. Uh, also, in our uh, during our weekly streams, we're also giving away uh, Ruby passes. So again, for those uh, new players or, you know, uh, old players from uh, MMORPG games uh, in Web 2 that wants to, you know, try out uh, big time as a, you know, AAA Web 3 game. So uh, just, you know, DM Chard or me uh, and also make sure to uh, uh, meet the minimum requirements of the game as because uh, the game uh, itself is, is going to need more than just uh, 8 gig of RAM. <laughs> So uh, yeah. yeah, but yeah, yesterday there's there's uh, some players that is having a low end PC, but they were able to still play the game with uh, low settings. But yeah, they're having issues here sharing their screens. So I think uh, it really depends on players. So some are playing under 30 FPS, but still manage to have a good time. Nice. So yeah, I think it's. It, it, yeah, it can so, be, uh, it's just, uh, so now the big time is trying to optimize the game, so yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's accessible, regardless, right? So. I noticed that with the tournament, some teams were like running on the lowest settings possible so that there was less lag or less uh, loading time or whatever. Yeah, yeah. they also play in their window mode only. <laughs> <laughs> They're going for speed, so they optimize to hit the objective, right? So, yeah. yeah. Forward thinking. Um, okay, so, and yeah, uh, aside from that, we're also working on having uh, monthly tournaments for the community. Uh, Big Daddy and Charn are assisting me, and we, get, we, we, we loop in a lot of the players on feedback of what they'd like to play as well. And we we're always open to ideas if they have um, formats that they'd like to test out, uh, just to make the game more entertaining for us as we grind away on our uh, daily NFT quotas. <laughs> but yeah, we have um, we're working on that. We're also working with AC so that we can try and um, include these more in the gap quests. So we're studying how we can fit uh, the gameplay into uh, quest-based system. Um, within Gap, uh, as you guys know, uh, since the game is so um, in, in, a, in a very raw state still, it makes it a bit challenging sometimes to create a structured flow around it. But um, as we're seeing the developments uh, roll out, uh, we're getting a better idea of how we can uh, 
work with the Eastern Gap. So, yeah, look forward to that with next season. Um, we will be preparing uh, a lot for that uh, in, in order to provide a more uh, rewarding experience for the players. So, okay. yeah, definitely uh, make sure to tune in to our uh, Discord channel, especially uh, the Big Time channel. Uh, uh, the the links are in our uh, Discord. Yeah, here, there, in the screen. Just make sure to join our uh, big time Discord. And uh, yeah, let's uh, stay together. And then um, if you have any suggestions for Gap, we can uh, try to look at it. And uh, yeah, let's uh, build the the big time community there. Yeah, that's good. We're 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 okay with that, uh, AC. Um, please look forward to these those updates. We're uh, always um, online over there. Uh, if you don't catch us there, we might be in Guildhouse, um, horsing around with another game. But uh, we do we do pay attention to the uh, to the big time players um, on the YGG big time community Discord as well. So we have two places that. Uh, uh, you can find us. Uh, and they are they are playing regularly. <laughs> Almost, I can say twenty four seven. You're gonna find someone in, on either of those. It's yeah, true. There's always a team running. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Any time that I've like, even I've lurked in the guild house here and there. I haven't had as much time to play this game because it does take a bit of time. But um, I always see active community members there in the guild house, so it's awesome. All right. Our post uh, for today will wrap up this night. Uh, go ahead. So uh, yeah, just a uh, shout out to uh, to the guys again. Uh, congrats uh, winning the first and second uh, spots there. So our big time guys, and uh, yeah, we're closing the night out. Sending to no ACL. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. It's been awesome to see, you know, the YGG big time team updates and the guild house updates. I appreciate you guys having me on and yeah, definitely absorbing all of the new fun things going on in big time. You're tempting me to play. Um, but yeah, <laughs> shout out to all the YGG community that joined us today. Make sure you join the guild house community, jump into the YGG discord, keep the next stream. We'll be here with some more fun times. So yeah, stay tuned and take it easy, everyone. Yeah, good night, good night, good morning, guys. See ya. Thank you. Keep playing, amigos. Get a replay.